Welcome back everyone at 644 this morning. When stocking your hurricane preparedness kit, one flashlight is just not enough. Meteorologist John Dawson has a look at the gear you may not have thought of. On today's hurricane gear test, we're talking about flashlights for emergency preparedness. You want to make sure you have one that uses common batteries. You also want to make sure that has one that's LED. I found a company out of Grand Prairie, Texas. It's called Nebo Tools, and they sent me a box of flashlights to test. Today, we're going to be looking at one specifically they recommend for hurricane preparedness. It's called the Twist. It uses AA batteries. It is LED, and it'll cost you about $49.99, so that's about 50 bucks for this particular light. Now, when you first look at it, it kind of looks like your standard aluminum aircraft aluminum type flashlight. When you push that button one time, you're going to get that bright spotlight that's able to kind of go out and shoot a good distance, a good lighting. But if you were to hit that button two times, you see these little rings that light up a little bit. Here's the namesake. You give it a little bit of a twist and you see more lighting coming out as they call these COB or chips on board LED technology. Uh, and when you hit it, that second button, it creates a work light and it it shoots that light out in sort of one direction, sort of a floodlight, able to kind of get some work done in a specific area. But if you do need to light up a whole room, you are able to hit the button three times and then you are getting that full 360 degree radius around it and it is performing uh, as a good lantern, really able to light up a whole room. And another nice feature that it has, it has a powerful magnet on the bottom. So if you want to get yourself a piece, if you've got some a ladder or something magnetic or metal that it's around that you need to take your hands off there and become a little bit more hands free. You're able to do that. And this is one of the coolest features that it has as well is if you do want to use it as a lantern, the base has some sort of stabilizers. It calls it retractable base stabilizers built into the bottom. You can unfold those out, able to set that down on a surface and get a good steady base to it. And you're able to use it as a lantern and not have to worry about it tipping over. So let's get to the bottom line on the Nebo Twist. I really like this light. The three in one features are great. You can really do a lot with this one device, but I do encourage you, you want to make sure you have extra batteries because the runtime on all the lights are not quite as high as I would prefer. And this is going to cost just a little bit more than I really want to spend on a flashlight. On my Hurricane Kit Priority Scale, I give the Twist a Cat 4 out of a possible 5. Make sure you go to my Facebook page if you want to see a more complete review and I'd like to know if you've used any of the other Nebo lights. I'm John Dawson, Fox 26.